God bless you. God bless you on today, on this Saturday evening. Uh, our, let me first say that uh, we, our prayers are with each and every one that has been affected by the devastation of the storms and the tornadoes on last night. Indeed, our heartfelt condolences and our prayers to anyone, to anyone and everyone that uh, that suffered loss of persons or property on last night. And not only the, the storm, but each and every one that's, that's going through any kind of trial and tribulation in this hour. So... Because I didn't um, didn't do the the uh, my reading proper reading yesterday, I want to go ahead and do it today, do it this evening. Father God, we come to you, Lord. We come to you, Father. We come to you. We come to you with bowed down heads and heavy hearts. But we know, Father God, that you don't make mistakes. We pray right now for the victims of the storm, of the devastation, and the tragedies on last night. Not only them, Father, we pray for each and every one that's going through any kind of, any kind of loss on tonight. We pray for healing. We pray for uh, resources in the name of Jesus. We pray that you lift spirits in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father God, that you will continue to speak to your people. And show us, Father God, the way that we need to go, the way that we need to live in order to, to be pleasing in your sight. So that we may be ready. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'm not going to tear because it's, uh, it's, it's getting late in the evening. Uh, let's, we're going to wrap up this week's Bible reading with the Proverbs in, in chapter 7. And it really says thus, My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teaching as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister. And call understanding your kinsmen. They will keep you from the adulteress, from the wayward wife with her seductive words. At the window of my house, I looked out through the, through the latest or the fence, and I saw among the simple, I noticed among the young men a youth who lacked judgment. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house. At twilight, as the day was fading, as the dark of night set in, then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent. She is loud and defiant. Her feet never stay at home. Now in the street, now in the square, at every corner she lurks. She took hold of his hand. She took hold of him and kissed him. And with a brazen face, she said, I have fellowship offerings at home. Today I fulfill my vows, so I came out to meet you. I looked for you and have found you. I have covered my bed with colored linens from Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with mere aloes and cinnamon. Come, let's drink deep of love till morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. My husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon. Verse 21. With persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. All at once, he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter like a deer stepping into a noose, till an arrow pierces his liver. Like a bird darting into a snare, 
little knowing it will cost him his life. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her paths. Many of the victims she's brought down. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is a highway to the, to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death. Wow. All right, that, that ends our uh, Bible reading for this week, uh, which was Proverbs chapter 7. And uh, again, let me reiterate that Proverbs uh, basically is, uh, is, is, is a moral teaching. And uh, it, it, it does, it, it, uh, it uh, talks a lot about adultery, the adulteress. And uh, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and it's it's uh, basically instructions on how we should live and what we should do and what we should not do. Okay, guys, and that ends this broadcast for this week. I will see you guys again Monday. God bless you. God keep you. Is my prayer. We love you with the love of Christ. Have a wonderful evening. And we'll see you again next week.